Hello fellow duelists, this is Shadow of the Moon and welcome to an updated deck profile of my Pure Synchro Blackwing deck for June of 2024. So I'm beginning to been focusing on this deck a little bit more recently, giving it a little bit more love and uh, attention uh, because Synchros are a very, very fun way to play Blackwings and honestly, other than you know playing Kaliuga, Horus, Bestial, and uh, King Calamity, you kind of just want to go back to basics or you just want to go back and play a deck that's a little bit more relaxing. Um, also, this deck tends to be a little bit cheaper too. It's not as uh, cheap, obviously, as the Kaliuga build, but it is still actually pretty affordable. And uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show you this deck. And this deck is a lot of fun. I have been grinding on this deck on Edo Pro pretty much for the past like three weeks. And I have been very happy with the results. I will be uploading a video on how to play around Nibiru using this deck because I know that King Calamity can do it I know that Cal Yuga can do it and I know that a lot of other decks can easily play around King uh, play around Nibiru now so I'm going to be showing you how to actually play around Nibiru with the Synchro deck and remember that Twin Shadow is a very very important card in that uh, strategy so all right so without any further ado let's go ahead and get straight on into the deck profile all right so obviously the first things that you're going to be using is you're going to have triple Simoon. This is standard right here. Triple Simoon, very standard. Obviously, this is the start of your Blackwing combos. Uh, you need the deck. You need know, the cards in the deck. These are all going to be standard. You got triple Shamal, very standard as well. You got to have three Shamal. You got triple Sudri. All right, standard Sudri. You got to definitely have that in there. And then you got triple Vata. All right, so you've got three Vadas. This makes it really good, actually very consistent. And then for the one ofs, you've got Zephyrus the Elite, Gale, and Martin. You've got your uh, Shanga, Chinook, and your Roshi. So I just combined it all these. So these are your six staples. Um, if you feel like going more of like Zonda, Zonda is an option you can do. I wouldn't recommend it for the Synchro build, the pure Synchro build, because you do need... Um, you do, you know, that it can become a brick. And if you're in Cali, if you're playing Cali Ego, you're playing King Calamity and stuff, obviously that uh, isn't gonna be so much as a brick and so much a card that actually is a negative uh, card per se, um, if, especially if you're playing Centauri and King Calamity. But right here, these are the standard black wings, the standard cards that I'm using for the deck. So that's a total of 20. And then we've got two Assault Synchrons. I bumped two. If you wanted to take one out and add another card, you totally could. Uh, Assault Synchron is just really nice because it is a level two Synchro monster and it does help you go into your level six plays or even your level 10 plays. So it is very good in the deck, I actually think so. All right, so that's gonna be it for the monsters. Let's move on to the spells and traps. You've got triple black whirlwind, obviously standard. You can play this at two if you want, but I like playing it at three because it is a lot more consistent. One. Um, Black Feather World one is really all you need for the deck. You've got Triple Small World. This really helps you um, swap out cards that you need, get a hand trap that you need, or even just get Black Wings to be able to go into your plays. And then two Pot of Prosperities. Um, you could play three, but I feel like two is fine because this deck is already incredibly consistent. I mean, you've already gotten your combo stutters. Simoon is very easy to go. All it takes is Simoon and one random black wing to go into full combo, to be able to go into your full board. And honestly, that's really all you need. Um, I just play two because two, you do need it in there. If you wanted to swap these out for the triple tactics talent, I actually am using that in the extra deck. So, or not extra deck, the side deck. So if you wanted to do that, you could. But I'm as of right now, I'm just playing the two. All right, so then the one trap, Twin Shadow. This is the most important card in this deck because this will allow you to get um, Black Wing Farmer Master. It'll allow you to get searched using Sudri's effect. This will allow you to also play around Nibiru using this one card. So, all right, so that's gonna be it for the regular deck. Now we're gonna go on to the hand traps. You've got three Ash. Obviously, you need three Ash. Three Effect Veiler. All right. I'm gonna move on these move these up just a little bit so you can see and three impermanence so a total of nine hand traps and then call by the grave so this is going to take a total of 10 because call by the grave is actually very useful it is even more useful than ever now because of the uh current meta and current the fire the uh, fire king right now not fire king the snake eyes because snake eye is a very you know obviously one 
uh, the last YCS Indie, and still kind of like, you know, it being a tier zero format, it's not fun to play against, but, you know, at the same time, you know, what are you going to do? At least, you know, I'm playing the deck that I love, so. All right, so that's going to be it for the main deck. Let's move on to the extra deck. So your triple assault black wing dragon. So normally what you want to do is you want to see these three. You want Dissipator, you want your Twin Shadow set, and you want your Red Hot Dragon Abyss to be able to go into. And that is your full board. That is your full combo. That is 2,100 damage per cart for monster effect, plus the 800 that you did for Nothum. And then if you special summon Farmer Master, you know, that's going to be a... A card that's a tower you've got shangan and the graveyard and chinook in your hand and that's pretty much all you're gonna need um that's all it is so this is gonna burn your opponent for 700 for every monster effect that they use and then if once per turn if a card would be destroyed by battle if you have um black feather whirlwind you can actually remove a counter feather, feather counter from this to negate it all right and then we're going to be running two of these because you do need two to be able to go into triple you got two black wing dragons uh this is a very good card obviously staple then for the one of black wings, you got your uh, full armor master, you got your regular armor master, never taking this guy out, you got your nothing the starlight, and then you got your border storm the wicked wind. So this is your uh, lineup. This is going to be what you're going to be using for the uh, deck. And I, and honestly, it's a very good. It's very strong. It's got very got a lot of power behind it. So for then for the non black wings, we're having Dispater, chaos angel. You have your red hot abyss. You've got your Draco Berserker of the Tenyai, and then you've got your Excel Synchron. Excel Synchron kind of fluctuates. You can kind of choose for it to not be in the deck if you don't want to, um, and choose it for something else. But I do like it because it is a way to go into a level 10, because it does just require you, for, this Spader just really requires you to have um, a dragon type monster. So this plus Vada or this plus Sharnga equals, you know, this Spader. So, all right, so then we're gonna be running the one card. Because even though this is a pure synchro deck, it's a pure synchro build, you still have to have SP Little Knight if you're able to afford it. If not, you can always go into um, IP Mascarena and then Unicorn and Fan uh, Unicorn Griffin and go into uh, Phoenix and all that stuff. But this is, if you can afford it, this is a very essential card in this deck. Um, if you can't, because this is very expensive, then, um, I mean, you can proxy, you can switch it out, you can add... Um, if you want, you can add another Boreas Storm the Wicked Wind. You can add anything. You can add a Silver Wind the Ascending if you wanted to, because Silver Wind the Ascending is actually a very good replacement as well. All right, so that's going to be it for the main deck. Now let's move on to the extra deck, or the side deck. So, Nibiru. You've got two Nibiru's. This is to kind of stop your opponent. Three Ghost Ogres. This is for the uh, Tempai uh, matchup. You've got two Battle Faders. This is kind of like my nifty little tech card. So you got two Battle Faders. So what this does is it's a very old card. It's from 5Ds. It's from 2010. And it actually prevents your opponent. It stops the Battle Phase. Um, as soon as the monster declares attack, it stops the Battle Phase. So if you have this and you side decked it and you have it in your hand, you can just play it. You special summon it. It is a level uh, 1 zero defense, zero attack tuner. So it's actually really good. And it does stop the Battle Phase. So in a way, it's actually... Is, you know, it's useful because it can be searched. You can use it for the small bridge engine. And then you've got triple crossout designator, especially with the past YCS Indie. There was a lot of crossout designators going around, a lot of them, and most of them were being used for cards like Ash or Imperm or even uh, uh, Skill Drain. So, all right. And then lastly, you've got the triple cosmic cyclone. This is to destroy your opponent's um, spell and traps. So obviously this is actually very important as well. You got those. And then lastly, you're going to have two Triple Tactics Talent. Um, you can add these to the main deck if you don't want to use Pot of Prosperity. This is a very good card uh, because it allows you to kind of draw two cards or allows you to take control of your opponent's monster or allows you to discard a card from your opponent's hand. So, All right, so that's going to be it for the main deck. I hope you enjoyed it, or the uh, deck profile. I hope you enjoyed it. This deck is incredible, and I love playing the deck. It is a lot of fun. It has so much potential behind it, just and it's so good, and it's just, you know, it's nice because if you want to take a break from Synchros, or take a break from Kali Yuga and King Calamity, it's something that you can actually do, and um, it becomes really fun to just be able to just go on a full-on Synchro board. And yeah, this deck is a little bit more bricky in terms of, it's more of glass cannon, because it does so much, but at the same time, one Nibiru can easily... Um, 
and then if you're not playing your cards right but like i said before there is a way to be able to play around a mirror trust me i've been testing it there is a way to do it twin shadow is an incredible card and actually is one of the key cards in the deck so yeah all right so that's gonna be it for this deck profile i hope you enjoyed it and uh, we are on the road to 500 subscribers. We are reaching it. We are almost there. I just want to say thank you. I am really just wow and awe because lately I've been getting a little bit more subscribers than usual. And people watching my content and video uh, commenting. I always love when you comment. So please always comment. And yeah, let's get to 500. So I'll be able to get my legacy booster box opening. And I'll be able to open that live on the channel for everybody. So all right. So that's going to be it for the profile. I hope you enjoyed it. And with that, I'll see you guys next time. Later.